it's me, Renee. I'm back. And it's another Wednesday, so surprise, surprise, I'm doing another video on books anticipating next year. <clears throat> so last week I did this kind of video of all the books. And now, going forward, I'm going to do like themed. So today I'm going to do sequels, since this is the second week of December. So yeah, um, and yeah, I'm just going to mention sequels that I'm excited for. I have a lot of books here that kind of represent the sequels, and some I don't have here, but you'll just have to imagine them. And uh, yeah, and also, as always, <coughs> I feel like there's always going to be books that you, even if you do the research, there's always going to be books you don't know before you film it, or there's going to be books that are announced like later in the year that you don't know at this point in time that are sequels, so yeah. Um, just be aware that I'm just kind of using the information I have at this point in time, which I suppose that's kind of what you always do. You can't use information you don't have, but yeah. If it happens that you're watching this in a week or two or like next March, I don't know why you were watching it then, but yeah. And you think, why aren't you mentioning X, Y, and C book? Well, that's why. And uh, yeah. So first we have the sequel to The Bone Spindle, which came out in January this year. I loved it so, so much. Loved. I love it so much. I believe the, the sequel, sequel is coming out in um, January, so just a few weeks as well. Uh, I believe also it also already has a title and a cover. For life of me, I can't remember what it is, but I do believe it's a direct sequel. It's not a companion, it's a direct sequel. But okay, so a lot of stuff in this one was kind of left open to like having a sequel. I suppose you could have done a companion book, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a direct, se direct sequel, which yeah, I love this book, so I'm very excited for the sequel to it. And then we have, <laughs> I think it's the 9th, no, maybe it's 14th. It's uh, uh, Umteamed in the Veronica Speedwell series. So this is the first one, which I read this year. I have the third and second. And I, yeah, and I, have, I don't have any of the others. I suppose you might be thinking, well, why are you looking forward to the next book that's coming out next year? I mean, you don't haven't caught up on this year at all. You just started. Yes, I suppose, yes. But like, I read this one. I loved it so, so much. So I'm probably thinking that I probably will love all the others in the series. And so maybe, so maybe I'll do a, like a read a fun for myself a weekend or a week where I read all the other books that exist, and then I can I can be caught up maybe. And yeah, I mean, I'm kind of weird that way. I'm often excited for books, even though like they're further away in a series or like the books that like I already have a big TBR. So I suppose in a way I shouldn't be excited for new books because I have so many books to read. But um, I'm always going to be excited for new books, so yeah. And then we have, <clears throat> yeah, sorry. And then we have the Agathas number two, which I'm pretty sure is coming out next year. I suppose sometimes sequels come out two years after the first book because sometimes it takes to, time to write books and stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is coming out. This next book is coming out next year. I read this one a few weeks ago. I loved it so much. So yeah, I'm very excited to read more in this world. <clears throat> then we have the third book in this universe, because the second one is already out, came out this year. It's kind of like Indiana Jones, but just like female protagonist. And yeah, I, so I didn't love this book, but I very much enjoyed it. And I am going to continue it. I plan to pick up the second one soon. So yeah, reading the third one, this one, it's going to be fun. Then we have <clears throat> sorry, the sequel to uh, Caribbean Eris in Paris. The sequel being sometimes you have a second book named it. Wait, I don't know the second one. I'm sorry, yeah, the sequel being called um, An Island Princess Start uh, Revenge. Sorry, Start a Scandal. <laughs> Revenge Scandal, I suppose, could be the same. But uh, so this is the second one in this series, the Las Leonas series. So it's a romance series, so it's a companion series, more than a direct series, but still. 
also, yeah, how do you do, like, what's the opposite of a companion series? Just a normal series? A direct series? Does that have a name? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I love this book so, so much. One of my absolute favorite books of this year. Maybe of my whole year, my whole life, actually. So, yeah, very excited to read the second one in the series. Then, <clears throat> sorry, then we have another, um, uh, Wells and Wong, oh, was, was, now it's not Wells and Wong. Now we have another series, uh, another one in this universe. Uh, it is. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what is it called again? The next one. Yeah, The Ministry of Unla Unladylike Activity, which is the next series. Yeah, the it's spin off of this series. That was, this is kind of a companion book, but yeah, what not. I haven't read the first one, that one yet, because I'm gonna hold it, but yeah, still um, excited to read it, and very excited to read the second one coming up next year. It's set during, like, it's with teens being spies in the Second World War, which you got just gonna love that, so yeah. And then we have the third, sorry, third, the fourth in the Winchester series. This one being the first one, and I have read the other two in this one, so that one I am caught up with, so it's just kind of to read the first one and enjoy it, which, yeah, I loved all these other books. So, yeah, excited to continue with that series. <coughs> Sorry. And then we have The Gentleman's Gambit, the fourth, I want to say, yeah, fourth in this series. And yeah, I very much enjoyed this series of Savagettes and Romance, and it's set in England, well, England Savagett era, and yeah, excited to read the fourth one. And then we have the third Amari book, this one being the second one. I have gotten a bit into it, really enjoying it, so yeah, finally started it. But yeah, the third one is coming up next year, and of course, even though I haven't finished this yet, I just love being in this universe so cannot wait to read the third third one <clears throat> sorry and then we have another my lady mary so this is from the first uh, series which is my lady jane and then um, they start a new series it's kind of the same universe my lady mary the first one is out the second one is coming out is the second one coming out but one coming out. I do know at least one of them is coming out next year because I think one of them is coming like more or less every year. He likes these like the least. And uh, yeah, very excited to read it. Very really excited. Yeah, quite excited. So yeah, kind of like am I very excited? Maybe not very excited. But I'm excited. And I feel like there was just fun palette cleansers and just cheese, but nice cheesy fun when you need some delightful, fun, historical-ish books to read with magic in, in them, so, yep. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I tried to Google, so like, so this year, Sea Sparrow came out, which is the fifth in the Wrestling series. So, uh, and at this point in time, I don't know if there's going to be a sixth one coming out or not, or not, or not. I think there could be, because like, the universe is so big, you could write, I think, feel like in a way, a million stories in it. She, she kind of, Kristen Kershaw keeps on expanding the universe. And also because you still write prequels and stuff. Uh, like, I tried to Google if there's gonna be a sixth one, and I couldn't really find an answer to it. But at the same time, it didn't say that the fifth one, which came out this year, Cispo, was the fifth and last one. So, I don't know if that means that she's taking a break from the Grisling series, or if she just hasn't announced the sixth one yet. Because, I mean, I mean, uh, Sea Sparrow has come, came out in the fall, so maybe six one is coming out in the fall, and then she doesn't really have all the details yet, and then she's announcing it soon. Could be that. So I suppose maybe we have a fifth, sixth one in this universe. I'm not quite sure. We might have it. Yeah, and then we also have the Chalice of the Gods, which is a new in the Percy Jackson universe. It was just announced a few weeks ago, and yeah, I love that so much. I love that series so, so much, so very excited to read that one. 
to get my hands on it and of course yeah read it and then yeah this is also the fourth and final tuesday murder club book that's coming up next year i have the fourth one third one i haven't read that yet i haven't been in the mood for it but yeah i'm still excited to read it and yeah so the fourth one is coming up next year a bit sad it's gonna be first last one but all good things must come to the end to an end and yeah at this point in time that's all the sequels that i could kind of figure out that are coming and uh yeah that excites me and uh yeah there, i suppose there are other sequels coming out but they're not like other sequels i really need to read like soon i'm very excited to read so yeah if you have any thoughts on any of these sequels if you have any sequels that you want to read please talk to me in the comments and i'll see you soon bye